you set it down now? Everybody, I'm Joe with Red E, a project engineer. Behind me we have our 1910 John Deere air seeder that we're working on our brand new tank scale product. It weighs each tank individually, so as you have your fertilizer in one tank and your different seed combinations in the other, this will tell you how much you have left in the tank. So today we're going to be breaking the cart down, uh, we're going to be pulling the tanks off, we're going to be pulling all of the revision A stuff off putting the Revision B stuff on. We're gonna have all brand new stainless stuff on the bottom. We're gonna be testing out our new Gen 2 hydraulics, but that's another thing to stay tuned for. Really? Jesse, one of the reds are ready, and we got a big build going on, I hear. So I'm gonna go jump over to the Amity R&D building. It is about a block over there. So thankful for Amity for letting us rent the space. But we got a couple big projects, scales and the new version of hydraulic drive. Let's get over there. It is freezing out, so I'm glad we're inside. Let's take a look at what they've got done here and see what all they're doing. So it looks like they got the cradles up here. Uh, we had to, of course, lift up all the tanks, put a separate substructure on here so we could get the scales in here and get a proper uh, measurement. So they got all three of those in, it looks like. They're working on the transition pieces down here. So that makes it a challenge when the tank gets pulled up out of here, you can't have any air gaps. So those gotta be closed up and it can't be, the frame can't be touching the tank in such a way that it would affect the weight or the weight measurements. There's a few little hiccups, but that's what happens when you're doing R&D. And so they're doing some modifications to get those fixed so we can test them all. You can see here, some brackets had to be bent and re-welded and adjusted. So while I'm over here, guys, I am gonna be jumping on the new hydraulic drive system. We're gonna be doing a little testing while we go. Uh, but I'm really excited about this. This is kind of the next generation of hydraulic drive. So some new things and we just got to make sure they're going to work the way we want. Check these bad boys out. Oh, they're kind of heavy. All right. I like it. Check out our prints here. Oh, wait. Can't show that to you. Confidential information. That's classified. I could tell you, but then I'd have to kill you. All right, guys, we are full strength here. We got Joe, the lead engineer here. We got Isaac, our other great engineer. And we got Jim over here. We're the prepping janitor. <laughs> the janitor. <laughs> yeah. Jim's cleaning up so we can get the meter housings up, checking some hydraulic routings. Uh, once we get the meter housings up, the tubes go on, and then we'll probably be moving on, doing the catwalk, doing the ladder, and then probably miscellaneous checks to finish off the day. Uh, 
quick and funky baby. Get started on that. Like angrily up. I don't know why. Joe just, just stopped all the work here to tell us a very important announcement. What was that? All of the new stuff is on. All the tanks are in, the cradles are done, the straps are in. Jim did a fantastic job drilling through the stainless to get the new bolts in for the new straps that didn't really work. Welded the brackets. Welded the brackets in place. So far, everything is back on the cart. We're back to putting on Red E stuff and John Deere stuff. No longer stuff I designed, so it should work a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> what he's saying is we're making progress. Let's go. We're back from another long day working on this cart. And the metered housing assemblies are going right on up. You and I. I've been working on this new hydraulic drive system we have going on here. So I got the first one up here. We got Chuck, our service director, who came over. He's helping get some more things taken care of that we need done so we can get testing today. Hey, Jesse. Well, it's Friday and we're under the gun. So we're trying to get this thing done, get it tested so we can get it out of here and, and not tie up this shop space anymore. All right, guys, we are moving along here pretty good. We've got all the hydraulic drive motors up. We're gonna be hooking up to this test stand here. We're really excited about that. We don't need a tractor here. So we'll be hooking that up, running the fan, running the hydraulics, seeing how everything works. Going, Derek. Pretty good. I kinda hate doing this. Yeah, why are you doing that? Oh, just to help out my fellow engineers. Well, we're all here to lay a lending hand. It's happening! Look at this beast. So now we just need our it. couplers. And then this thing will come alive. It's adapters to adapt from the, the John Deere hoses to this test stand and should work just like a tractor. All right. Can't forget the case drain. Wow, that looked great. Everything fit just perfect. Kick, 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 kick. <laughs> It is now 6 p.m. Friday night, and there is a flurry of activity as we try to wrap this up for the weekend. We want to get this thing running on the test stand so we know that at least the basic functions work, and then we're gonna come back Monday to do some more additional testing and really check it out. The moment of truth. We're gonna turn on the John Deere display here that is actually connected to the rake controller up in here. And so we've got the battery hooked up and my super refined set up here we'll turn our master on oh there it is beautiful all right the display works now we're going to test the test stand any leaks you got one one leaky joint actually a couple leaky joints holds up the whole show what do you think chuck should we head out let's call it a night hit her monday monday hit morning monday. All right, see you guys Monday. It is Monday morning and we're back and we're ready to test this thing out. Chuck has got the fittings connected and ready to go and he's ready to hit the lever. Let's check it out. So we learned a lot of things, we tested a lot of things. There's a few things we still gotta check, but overall we're pleased. We gotta pack up, we gotta get going, head to a few farm shows this week. So thanks for watching guys, make sure to like and subscribe and God bless.